guys, so it's your girl, and I know I'm looking a little bit crazy around the hairline here. I just finished doing a video. This video, it's by a company I ain't never heard of, girl. Like, this is all new to me. I hope my color is coming in good because um, I changed my shirt. But anyway, so this is a company, like I was saying, called Beau Fox or Beau Fox. Either way, I'm not really sure why I'm saying it with like an accent, like an international accent, Beau Fox or Beau Fox. Beau Fox hair. I don't know why I want to say it like that. Beau Fox. It just sounds better if you put a little twist on it. Beau Fox. You know, like this, besides Beau Fox. That's, that's kind of like plain and simple. So, you know, you put a little twist on it. It makes it sound really, really expensive and important. And it feels like something like all those celebrities are wearing. You know what I'm saying? So, it's Beau Fox. A Beau Fox. I think I like Beau Fox. Beau Fox hair. So, they sent me their water wave lace front i think it's a 13 by 4 lace front and it does have the combs in it in the front three in the front and then it has the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape and i did sew an elastic band on this puppy okay so i'm thinking it's like 24 inches i do believe it's like 24 inches i will definitely put the specs below for you guys but i will say i did bleach it and i did pre-pluck it so i'm gonna be honest not not really honest because i don't want to hurt nobody feelings and stuff like that but when i was bleaching the knots um and then after i finished bleaching them so you know they did lift but they did not lift to my expectations like there were still some knots there that seemed like they was fighting to stay alive like they did not want to be bleached so i was going to re-bleach it again but then i realized girl you ain't got no bleach and girl i'm not about to go to the store anymore i didn't feel like going back to the store so I just was like, you know what? We're just going to do this how we do this. We're going to put some makeup on it and we're going to see how it comes out. I'm not going to say it was my fault with the bleach because I don't really know. And I'm not going to say it's their fault with the knots because I don't really know. But, you know, some things take a little bit more processing than others. I would suggest to them the next time they make these little adjustable strap slots that they don't sew over them because that's not going to do me any good. We just want to get into this video. The hair, yes, it's brushed out, but I do have my water bottle with conditioner and water mixed. And I have my other products too. So we're just going to see how this works out with it being sprayed with water and how the curls will come back. One, two, one, two. Am I loud and clear, you guys? So, as you guys see, I already went ahead and put this lace wig on, okay, by Beau Fox. Beau Fox. We have to pronounce it like that. Beau Fox. So, as you guys see right here, as I normally explain, I really need to make sure that the wig fits properly. So, if it's over your ears, like the hair, the lace is way over your ears, like you really need to customize that. You don't want the wig to be over your ears because if it is girl let me tell y'all the wig is not going to sit properly it's not going to lay flat then you're going to be tucking some of the lace behind your ears which is still not going to really work so make sure that it's customizable you customize it to make it fit properly i'll show you that in a few minutes but for now on or for right now we're going to cut the lace off of the front because girl you got to cut the lace off you don't really want to walk around with no lace on your head then everybody gonna know you got a wig on me personally i prefer small scissors but you know it's up to you guys so in this portion of the video i'm gonna make me some sideburns this is also optional you don't have to do it but let me tell y'all if i don't do this i feel like the wig is naked plus you don't really have to do baby hairs or wispy hairs but a sideburn hair will definitely help your wig lay down a little bit more flatter and it will hold it down in place so trust me when i tell you make you some sideburn hairs they don't have to be thick or wonky or anything like that just make sure you have some sideburn hairs but also really important make sure you get you some hair clips because if you don't girl the hair is going to be all over the place then you're going to be struggling to style it and all of that good stuff so go to the dollar tree get you a four pack of these hair clips they will Will come in handy down the long run you can even use them later on down the line to pin up the hair when it gets really really hot so get some of those hair clips and also get you a nice rat tail cone so that way you can also make you some wispy hairs or baby hairs or sideburn hairs now as you see me right here i'm looking at the lace and this spot was actually covering my ear now i really didn't cut off a lot but as you see i'm cutting this because it does overlay my ears and i want it to fall right above my ear so that way the wig can lay as flat as possible now these are those infamous sideburns i was talking about girl you really don't need them that long because they're really not supposed to be that long and you want to make sure you got some good gel i like the got to be glam force 48 hour hold styling gel this stuff holds good plus the glam force 
48 hour hairspray let me tell y'all best thing ever this will have your wig adhered for a few days especially if you put on a scarf make sure you clean your hairline take off any or clean off any kind of makeup oils dirt whatever wash your face girl make sure you clean off that hairline so that way the hairspray will really stick and get you a blow dryer however if you don't have a blow dryer to blow the product or dry the product rather no worries this hairspray dries really quickly but if you don't have a blow dryer what i would suggest is spraying in sections don't go spraying the entire front of the unit like you seen i did because i have a blow dryer so if you don't have a blow dryer just cut or just spritz in small sections and just press your comb into the lace and it will dry within a minute or two and then you can just continue on spritzing the rest that way it makes it a lot easier for you and your wig will set now i'm just going to cut those little sideburn hairs because i do want them you know a little bit shorter like i said you know and also you will need a nice good toothbrush now you don't have to use the toothbrush you can also use the edge brush but girl they all work the same trust me they all work the same i have my favorite which i'm using the green one that is my favorite toothbrush but an edge brush will do the same or a mascara wand or spoolie whatever you like to use to style your front hairline baby hairs use it now me personally i do prefer to use a blow dryer but sometimes i do not and i really will tell you guys this hairspray is amazing i do like it a lot better than the got to be freeze blast this one seems to hold a lot better it also dries a lot better and not it does not flake and it will flake but not as bad if you're piling 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 it on for days you will see a little residue but the one good thing about just using the hairspray is when you take the wig off you can just take your toothbrush and brush the hairspray off and then you can put the wig back on without having to rewash it if you use the gel you're definitely going to have to rewash it after you take it off so i like the hairspray because it works just as well as the gel but leaves less mess and i'm all for less mess now when you're ready to cut those baby hairs or wispy hairs cut them to the desired length you prefer now we're about to try this hair out i got me some warm water with some carol's daughter leave-in conditioner and we're just going to spritz it down normally i will wash these wigs after i pre-pluck them especially the curly or the wavy ones so that way the curls will reform back but i got lazy and not only that i just really wanted to see will this hair perform and get curly just with me only spritzing it down with water so that's what I decided to do. I got me my little fake denim brush right here. I think that's what you call it. And I'm just going to brush out the ends. You know what I'm saying? I like this brush. It was $1.50 and it works good. I'd rather pay $1.50 versus like $10 for the real deal. They all work the same, girlfriend. And as you've seen, it is not a deep part. It's only a 13 by 4. But to me, that's enough. I don't really need the part going all the way to the back of my neck. As long as I get a nice amount of parting, then I'm good. So we're just going to brush through this hair. It came out really nice. I do like the curl pattern. You know, I love curly or wavy hair because a girl don't like to really do too much. Like this right here is not doing much, you know, just putting a little water to it and styling it. Girl, this is way easier than getting a hot curler out, flat ironing, hot combing. I prefer to do this. So this got to be fantastic. Instant collagen mousse is like my favorite right now. If you just let it dry wet, then, uh, or you know, you don't blow dry or anything, just let it dry air dry it will give like your hair this wet look it gives like this glossy look i really do like it it's a very thick styling mousse but girl let me tell y'all i got this from the dollar tree i absolutely love it i bought a few cans and it's like one of my favorites you know what i'm saying so if you happen to come across it definitely pick it up it will keep your hair looking nice and glossy plus to give you that wet look that you you know also want so i'm just gonna part me apart like i said there's it's a 13 by 4 it's not a lot of parting but i'm i'm good with that you know what i mean I'm good with that as long as I get a nice decent part and I'm gonna commence to sculpting these baby hairs now like I said I got my handy dandy favorite toothbrush here this brush been with me for years okay it's a little cheap toothbrush and it gets the job done okay now like I said this part is optional so you don't have to do it but I just do the baby hairs or the wispy hairs to camouflage the ends of the lace so that way you don't see them and I also take a tiny bit of gel as you see me use and I'll put it on the root of the hair and then I'll just brush it in 
but you know I think the hair came out cute it's very pretty it's affordable you know what I'm saying I do think like I should have kept the knots on excuse me the bleach on a little bit longer because I made the bleach really thick I was really determined not to let it seep through onto the hair so I think that was my fault because it was extra thick and I don't really think it even penetrated the knots like that only in certain areas so you know hey repeat it on the opposite side if you prefer I would really say repeat it now just to give my hair a little bit of volume I'm gonna be using this got to be hairspray and I'm gonna just spray a little bit and blow dry it on cool so that way I get a little bit of volume but you guys know the rest I hope you enjoy this video and I do apologize if it's longer than normal but I just want to be very detailed for you gals because I love you so much so watch the rest of the video you guys so first of all let me just talk about this little cheap brush that i got so this does really work this works really good especially when the hair is wet but the curls do come back really quickly you know what i'm saying um as for the knots in it you can't really see where they're at so like where the hairline part is at i think i did great with that but if you were to kind of like go back in like you'd have to really look between the hair to see the knots. So it isn't as bad as I assumed because I did have it on like one of those mannequin canvas mannequin blockheads. So they're white and it just really just show like really bad when you have something on something beige or white. So you want to take that into consideration when you're pre-plucking your wig. Don't keep doing and overdoing it because you see the knots because they really will look like they're protruding or like really coming at you, especially on like a beige canvas blockhead or a white one. Bell beautiful, folks, beautiful, folks, a beautiful. folks. Be false hair lady so so far so good i do like the length it's actually 24 inches it's it's super long i like it it gets kind of frizzy it's water wave i don't you know i don't really know what the difference is but i will say you will need a little bit of moisture don't go spraying dry just plain water on your hair because it'll dry it out i have some of the carol's daughter leave-in conditioner hair milk in here so i never spray without any type of conditioner in it um i just figured i would do the baby hairs like this i really don't do the baby hairs too much like this but for the most part you know it's like a low luster um i would highly suggest putting some conditioner in it and i would just suggest conditioning and washing it prior to wearing it because if you're just spritzing water on it it's cool but you have to make sure you put something in it so bow fucks i'm not really sure what the origin of this hair is i really want to say that it's brazilian because nine times out of ten most of them are you know what i mean but yeah it did shed you know it's good because you know your girl put in an elastic band had i not put an elastic band god knows i don't think it would have stayed down because the adjustable strap slots were all sewed together and i wasn't really about to sit out here and unseam them so you know thank god i have my elastic band on and stuff like that girl but you know it's a lace front and you know you can still do plenty of things with this hair mommies even if it's a lace frontal you know be creative you buy a wig make sure you do it big but make sure your money go a long way. So make sure your money go a long way. Spinagle that, work around it, girl. I'm pretty sure you can put a freaking half wig into a bun and make that look like a lace wig. We are very creative as women. But bill folks, beautiful folks, or whatever you want to call it, is, you know, all the information is going to be down below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I got to go. Got things to do. It's Saturday. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Plus, I'm getting hot. I'm overheating. Got to go.